Our top local story tonight, embezzlement arrest. State police say Cumberland's former tax collector stole more than $80,000 from the fire district. We first told you about the missing money in August. Well, new at 6, investigators tell us what she spent it on. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now live in Cumberland with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Mike Kelly, good evening. State police made the arrest today and arraignment followed. And if what's alleged is true, it's not just criminal, but a violation of public trust. 48-year-old Karen Lambert of Cumberland, once the tax collector for her home fire district, now accused of ripping it off. We allege that she took $83,000 thereabouts from the fire district. And uh, she also used money from the property management company to try to cover that $83,000 embezzlement. Over $11,000 alleged stolen from that Woonsocket property management company where Lambert was a bookkeeper. And state police say Lambert went even further. We do know that she used the fire district funds to also purchase a computer for her house, a $700 computer that was purchased and installed with fire district money. The probe began last June. A forensic audit going back five years reportedly turned up discrepancies. It's a sad day for a family. She has three uh, young girls, so, uh, and I've often thought myself uh, what that's going to be like to the family. Through insurance, thankfully, uh, we'll be able to get most all of it back right immediately and then try to recover the rest. The fire district is out over 20 grand, the cost of the outside audit and legal counsel. And Karen Lambert worked for the Cumberland Fire District for two years. She's now charged with two separate counts of felony embezzlement. Each carries a prison term of up to 20 years and not more than $50,000 in fines. Eyewitness News did reach out to Karen Lambert by phone. We left her a message, and she has not returned our call. Live in Cumberland tonight with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.